here we are. The anticipation for Christmas is almost finished. Only one more week to wait. Over the last few weeks, we have been moving through the season of Advent in anticipation of a remembrance of the birth of Jesus Christ. The church, in her wisdom, gives us an entire season to prepare. It is a time of preparation and anticipation. This is a season to get ourselves right with God. And here we are, one week to go. I have heard some say that Advent is a fun version of Lent. It's like spring training for the, before the baseball season or training camp before the football season. As we move closer and closer, you can feel the excitement begin to build. The anticipation is almost too much to handle. Yet I get frustrated, even angry, when I see Christmas decorations in stores in September. I just find something wrong with seeing Christmas decorations across the aisle from Halloween decorations. Thanksgiving seems to be an almost forgotten holiday. Christmas has lost some of its, of its excitement with a constant bombardment in stores, on the radio, on the television, beginning even before Halloween. Christmas doesn't feel like a religious holiday anymore. Where have we gone wrong? When I was younger, Christmas was my favorite holiday. We'd get time off from school. We would get presents from Santa and from family. Christmas was great. For us, it was a time to spend with family. Family is and always will be important to me. At this point in my life, it means the kids that are away from, from home at college have come home and the house is full again. My life is full. My heart is full. What do you remember about Christmas? Do you have happy memories with family? Were you as excited about Christmas as I was? And so we find ourselves in our gospel reading. Family is important to Mary. And though she is pregnant, she goes to visit her cousin Elizabeth, whom she finds out is also pregnant. Mary, three months pregnant, travels a distance to the hill country of Judah and arrives at the house of Zechariah and Elizabeth. She greets her cousin, and the baby in Elizabeth's womb leaped. Did you catch that? When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb. At the sound of Mary's voice, the infant growing inside Elizabeth's womb leaped for joy. We know that infant to be John the Baptist. Baby John was so excited to hear Mary's voice that he leaped for joy in his own mother's womb. Was there a time that you can remember that at the sound of someone's voice, you were so filled with excitement that you wanted to leap for joy? I think about those military reunions, the good ones, not the bad ones, when mom or dad has been gone for a long time and then they surprise loved ones with their return. The emotions pour out from the family that has missed their loved ones. Excitement and joy are emotions that fill them I want to come back to excitement for a second. 
What excites you? Do you still get excited for Christmas? If we take all of the secularization out of Christmas and get back to why we celebrate Christmas in the first place, can we find the excitement we once had? If we think about it, Christmas is a time to celebrate the birth of our Savior. God became incarnate and dwells among us. This is important stuff. Who knew that the birth of a baby could have such an important impact on the world? The reality is, we all know, or at least we should know. Emmanuel, God is with us, is almost here. This is so exciting. We should all be as excited as John the Baptist was in his mother's womb. And if you aren't excited, why aren't you? In a week, we will celebrate the birth of our Savior, the Savior of the entire world. I know I'm getting excited again. Thank you, God, for this family that you have given me. Thank you, God, for coming into our world. O come, O come, Emmanuel. God is truly with us. Amen.